Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to implement the main menu theme. We'll be using the source code from the pre previous part which we implemented as Splash scene. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. So this scene will be pretty simple with three main key elements. There'll be the background image which you won't be interacting with. There'll be the title which again you won't be interacting with and there'll be a play button which obviously we'll be interacting with and when you click the play button it will take us to the game scene which we created right here there's no actual functionality yet but it is there so the first thing we're going to do is include the game scene and the definitions header so we can do that up here right here actually am i even on the right scene no need to be on main menu scene so here it's going to do hash include game scene include definitions now let's add the background image so we're just going to go to the init method and down here we're going to do auto background sprite equals sprite colon colon create and we'll do background dot png and now we're going to set the position of the background sprite and that's just going to be centered so set position so we're going to point visible size dot width divide by 2 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and the final thing we're going to do is just add sorry about that add this sprite to the layer of the child so we will specify background sprite now it's going to run it as well so just to make sure it's all working as we go along instead of just doing it right at the end so that's just some good techniques that you should employ when coding and designing in general test as you go along So we've got the splash screen that disappears, and now we've got the background sprite. The next step is let's now declare the function that will be called when the play button is pressed, which isn't added yet, though, but will be soon. So if we just go to the main menu scene.h, it's going to be a private variable, so a new private method for private void go to game scene. And this takes a ref as a ref, and that's, that needs to be cocos 2 d colon colon. I'm going to call it sender. And now let's implement the go to game scene function. So I can just copy and paste it from here so it's a little quicker. Let's get rid of semicolon. It needs to be main, and then you see colon colon. Put curly braces and now that's the bare bones implemented let's just actually implement the full code so we're going to do auto scene equals game scene colon colon create scene so it's going to create a local instance of game scene then we're going to do director colon colon get instance replace scene and in here we're going to do tran position fade colon colon create and for the duration I'm going to put transition underscore time which is specified in the definition file so we just keep using it for the scene we just specify scene and get rid of this color values we're not going to be using that replacing and now that's the go to game scene method implemented Again, this function uses the transition time, and if we want to change the time, we just go to the header file and change it. We could also abstract code such as the transition type, which is this right here. If we really wanted to, we could sort of abstract that. But I'll leave that as an extra task to you, see if you want to do that. The last thing to do is, that, is to create a menu with a play menu item, and when it gets clicked, it will take us to the game scene. So what we're going to do is here, auto play item equals menu item image colon colon create 
play button dot png which got to get rid of the g there which is right here I will show you there uh, we need to also specify the clicked version so play button dot png and it's play button clicked and then the last thing we want to specify is the function that we call when it's clicked so we just do cc underscore callback and these numbers basically specify how many parameters this method takes because this method takes one parameter we just do the cc underscore callback one now we specify the selector aka the method and to specify that we just do main menu theme colon colon go to game scene and for the target we just put this the next thing to do is just position the item so play item set position I just feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, we're missing the title. Okay, we'll, we'll add the title in a moment. I just forgot all about that then. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, and uh, so let's just do play item here. And for the position, we're gonna do point. Visible size dot width. Do void, but actually I can just copy and paste this entire thing as that will be a lot easier. Leave a semicolon at the end. And now that's all good. We're gonna do auto menu equal menu column column create create with a play item no menu set position and for the position we're just going to do point colon 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 zero because we've set the position for the individual items finally we can add this as a child to the layer so menu now we can run this once this uh, once we've got this running successfully what we're going to do is just finally add the title which I did just forget so we've got the play button we click it and it takes us to the game scene. So the last thing looks like we're gonna add a sprite here. So auto title sprite equals sprite colon colon create and it is called title.png title.png and then title sprite set position point and for this for the X axis is going to be centered, so visible size dot width divided by two plus origin dot x, and then for the y axis, what we're going to do is visible size dot height, and then we're going to do minus total sprite to get content size dot height. Basically, it's going to be positioned towards the top, but it's just going to be pad below. Have you seen a second? And find us add this. Add child title sprite and run it. In theory, you could encompass the title sprite within the menu, have it, have it as an item, and then for the clicked image, you could specify the same default image so it looks like it's not being clicked, and also we don't have to have a callback, but I think this is probably a little easier. So we've got this. If we click, click enough, it happens. We click the background, nothing happens. If we click the play button, it shows us the click button and takes us to the game scene. That's it for this part of the series. In the next part, we're going to be looking at the game scene background. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.